So I recently had a request to show how I would edit an outdoor shot of a dog and because I don't have any really good shots I just went on to Adobe Stock and grabbed this really cute picture of this red border collie. Okay, so the first thing that I did and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see this. See how noisy this is? The first thing that I did is I ran it through Topaz Denoise. Now, I know I've talked about this before, but this plugin is pretty amazing when you have pretty severe noise like this. And I did. I used the severe noise setting, and this is what it did. So now... I'm going to zoom in even more. You can see that the majority of the noise has been gone, taken away. Okay, so the next thing that I did is I cleaned up all of these branches and grass off of the fur. And I did that using Content Aware and the Clone Stamp. And we came up with this looks a bit better and then the next thing I did I did a hue saturation with a mask so I did use my select subject for a mask and then I came into my hue saturation and if you look in here I just went to the yellows and I just desaturated it and pulled the lightness all the way down the next thing is exposure so using the same mask so holding my option key, I just dragged the mask to the exposure adjustment so that it would only affect the environment. And in the exposure, these are the settings that I used and this creates that really nice matte effect that you see. The next thing is I just went into levels and I toned down the brightness of the whites in his fur. And once again, another hue saturation adjustment where I came back in again to the yellows and I desaturated the yellows out of the dog's coat. Okay, now we're getting into the fun stuff. I'm just gonna back up a bit so you can see the full image. All right, so then I just came in with a blank layer and I painted all around those, um, the tree textures, because I found them a little distracting. Then I added in a gradient behind the dog and a curves adjustment to darken the environment. The next thing, I did my dodge and burn on the dog, and that's what that looks like. It just really redefines the shape of the dog's face and brightens his eyes, stuff like that. Then the next thing I did was I came in... What did I do here? I don't see anything there. Oh, <laughs> duh. It's a color blend mode, so you can look at his coat here, it's very gray, and then I just added some color to his coat. All right, <clears throat> next thing is a curves adjustment using the green. So I did a little bit here in the RGB mode in the blacks, and then I came into my green layer, and I added a bit of a green curves adjustment just because I like the blacks in the image to have a bit of green. And then I combined all of them into a stamp layer here, like this. And then I went into Alien Skin and I applied a filter from the portrait category and that applied all this beautiful sharpening. But then what I found still distracting were all these little specks and stuff from the bokeh in the image. So I also came in and kind of cleaned that up just using a brush and sampling the layers. And that's all. So that's the final result. And, you know, some people will say, oh my god, it's so photoshopped. It is, but imagine that in a frame with a mat and how beautiful that would look hanging on the wall. And that would be your puppy. That would be nice. I think it'd be a great thing to offer clients. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.